20 Chevy Equinox with a uh, fan is not operating and it's really cold today. Hey viewers, welcome back to our channel. Um, I was called to come and check this uh, vehicle that had two fan, two fans replaced. Uh, customer complaint, as I said, the fan is not working with the ACs on. They thought it was a matter of uh, uh, putting free on in the system. Uh, they did, still no uh, fan control. I come and scan the vehicle and let me show you guys what we have. We have uh, several codes. Uh, P0494 cooling fan one under speed uh, engine hood switch not requested uh, U0284 last communication with grill shutter I tell you guys why because I told them to keep the bumper open and for some reason they removed the grill shutter I don't know it's probably a part of it some cars like that U0632 last communication with cooling fan one this is the main uh, code and you one three four five engine control module len bus one uh, I'm not sure about this. We have to focus on this and both of them are requested This is requested and this one the under speed is requested, but this one is caused by this So if you fix this you will fix the other two. I think uh, Engine control module len bus one. We're not sure which module they're talking about here I know engine control module, but this is the master we have to see which slave uh, module they're talking about here uh, probably by the code description so uh, let's go to the comp computer go to the laptop um, I'm gonna show you guys what we have here we have a car with a front bumper fortunately and uh, it's a three wire fan I disconnected it three wire fan uh, well, let me connect it and turn the AC on and see if the fan kicks on. I'll show you guys. Alright, so that's connected. Let's start the car. Alright, and the AC is on. I already checked that, but I want to show you guys. Now, we don't have the fan. See it? It's not working. So, alright, let's leave it like that. And come here. Let me disconnect this. Okay, this is the car side. Let's check what we should have. Power, constant power here, constant ground here, and this is the uh, the speed uh, light. So hold on. All right, I put the test light on negative, and now we have 12 volt reading because we're probed to the positive right here. You see it, the red one. Now let me switch the. Uh, the uh, test light now I switched up there to the positive and right here on the black and we do have reading of battery voltage now we need to check that third one and the third one is being checked by scope so I am hooked here to my scope we come here we go to scope and when we probe here, now let me do this. So when we probe on this one, we should not have what we have right now. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't know where where that coming from but that should be I will show you guys later how it should be but this is bad uh, I'm pretty sure this is controlled by the engine control module so there's a possibility that we have a bad computer or a short to something here the wire is short to something I did ask them if there was any wire in repair they said no and, uh, I don't think it was a this green violet the 
reason why I came to check because it should be right on black. This is no, that's Africa market. So here it says white and black, and white and black that's the speed signal. White black goes up there, goes here. Come to X104, we have to find this one. And come to under hood fuse block, go in and go out on pin 14, X1, and comes out from pin 12, X3. And then it's still white and black. Goes to engine control module on. Well, if it is, what is that? 1.5 2.0. What do we have here? One point five turbo. Yeah. All right, so we have to put them fan motor. There is no other motor, right? There's only one. Yeah, it's only one. All right. Um, what do we have to do? We have to look at the X104. See if we can uh, disconnect it and check at uh, both sides. See if we have it on this side. That means there is a short between this connector and the fan. If we don't, that means everything here is good. All right. So when I go to uh, OEM. Uh, diagrams it does show that it's a green and violet so we are good here uh, except uh, I decided to go to the engine control module straight and check over there all right so I want to share with you guys some findings we said here in the air condition it is we have 1.5 turbo so it is X2 pin number 7 when we go to engine control module this is X2 connector. Pin number seven is the correct color. You see, green and violet. And it says go to computer data line system. So when I go to computer data line system, there's the engine control module. And this is our X2 pin number seven. We have number four. Apparently, I don't know it, but I know it from the pin, which is without electronic transmission range selector system. Now, this is a little bit different than what I thought. Usually, it's a one wire, goes to the fan and uh, pause with modulated signal, uh, you know, on time, off time, but this is actually different. This is a recent uh, design adopted by some of the manufacturers, included GM right here in this vehicle. So, the... Uh, the signal is sent over the network uh, network serial data buzz 21 now what do we have here it is the this highlighted we have the active grill shutter which is disconnected we have the battery cable sensor a battery sensor module which is at the uh, at the negative battery cable and we have the cooling fan motor. This is our guy, green and purple. What else we have? We have the front of transmission control module. What else we have here? It goes this way too. Transmission range control module. Okay, so in this case, I would think if we uh, stick to the basics, which is we have codes, but we're not sure if those codes were made by human or or real codes. So should we uh, delete the codes? I mean, save them, delete them, and then uh, do a rescan and see what comes back. I deleted all the codes and I found original fan and active gill shutter inside and I uh, went temporarily put that I know it's gonna give us a performance code but what I also noticed is that look at these wires 
somebody was here before. I wonder if they did something here that affected the whole uh, uh, that that Lynn uh, uh, bus uh, line. So let's do key off and then start the vehicle. I'll put the AC. The AC is on for a minute. And this is active pro shutter. This is the uh, the uh, same line. That one right there. And I did uh, minus back. What else do we have? We have some other stuff on the transmission. So the range is correct. Uh, let's key off. Another thing. Now we need to do fault scan again. There we go. Two faults came back. All right, we can pause here. Nose communication active. Growth shutter. Motor module. Nose communications. Okay. Nose communication with cool and fine. Not requested. Not requested. Is it cool and work? about we go here we should have an active test active test cooling fan okay let's see we go one nothing device limit exceeded Right here, five. Yeah, something is affecting the signal here. Now, what is this? What's the range here? Maximum is 12. So 1 and 12, 11. That sounds about right. That Lynn should be 11 volt difference between min and max. I just don't like the message. Alright, so far I have last communication with Poland fan. But it's not requested. I do have everything plugged. Since I have the active grow on the fan. Uh, I was wondering if it's one of these uh, cases like that Mercedes that I uh, posted. Uh, we go over here, special functions, and then temporary brake position, crankshaft, no, engine oil. Well, the pressure and fuel trim reset. Uh, there should be some lint something here. Vehicle start disable history reset. 
Okay, I know I tested this with the LED light. This is an LED, but because uh, my aim condenser test light is out. I can use what I can use. I can use a, a, a bulb. I do have bulbs. Let me just make sure that the ground, the power and ground, are able to uh, to take care, to carry care. Yeah, let me do this. All right, so when I plugged my lights here, I do have uh, good bright lights. That means the power and ground are enough to carry care. Alright, so what I did, look what I did, I got the original one out, now we have a fan, the fan is bad, I need to get a good fan, that's what I always like to test with the, uh, with the originals, always use original stuff. What do we have here? Control fan. Okay, fan speed 780 RPM 16. So when I raise it up, see, fan is going up. Now it's going up more. Okay. So let's exit out of here and see if the car will command the van itself by going AC yeah it is cold right now yeah going low AC yes the van is working by itself and we'll go here I guess that goofiness is normal <laughs> now it's gonna happen like the Mercedes. If I plug it back to the aftermarket, it's gonna work. Watch this. I'm gonna <laughs> shut off the car and do it. And I'll keep you guys here so you guys don't think that I'm doing something funny. Okay, the car is off. Car is off. All right. Let's plug it back in here. Unless we have a pin fitment here. I will, we'll see. They might. Come on. Left hand. There you go. All right. Kinja like came back. And the fan is not working, look. <laughs> People don't believe me when I tell them that new does not mean good. Come on. Alright, let me 
случай. Ой, Иван, Иван, Иван. Hello. There you go. All right. So I guess that's the end of it. We need a new fan. We need to change the new fan. <laughs> that's what it is. But thank you guys for watching. Add this clip to the end of the video. Um, as I mentioned uh, in the middle, when I. Uh, said that that th uh, third uh, small gauge wire should be a uh, on off uh, signal i was wrong um this one is a new uh, design firm this is the first time that i deal with this design and basically the um, all these modules that are connected through the uh, the uh, green and what was the other uh, uh, trace on it green and something that lin um all of them are uh, on the same network and it is controlled by the engine control module so at the beginning when we had a uh, lost communication or something with LEN device that was the um, the fan control module now uh, the update about this case the uh, owner went to the dealer and he bought a, uh, a fan from the dealer and the car has been working fine with no check engine light. thank you guys for watching and for staying uh, till this moment